What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Outdoor security cameras don't have to be obvious. Check out a video from a long time ago. I picked up this Singled Snap camera light bulb, and I use it on my front porch, but this is the Snap 2, Gen 2. And I'm not exactly sure what all the differences are here, but it does have a motion sensor, works as a floodlight, and on top of that, I think this is HD, a 1080p, so we should get pretty good resolution, and I think it'll do night vision. Whoops, probably shouldn't have unboxed it quite like this, but you can see everything that's in it. And hopefully the setup and everything uh, is pretty similar to the Gen 1 one, which has worked pretty nicely. But I'm hoping to use this out uh, in the back to watch my backyard and uh, have good monitoring capability, security. All right, so we do get some mounting hardware here dropping stuff. A uh, little tiny Phillips head screwdriver. You might have to open stuff up, I guess. We have a Cat5 cable, I guess, which you might need. Oh, this came with my original one too, which I actually kind of dug. Uh, it's kind of nice for setting it up, configuring it, especially because it's like a floodlight so that you don't have to install it and then try to futz with it. You can actually plug this in, do what you need to, uh, test it out. So you get like this five foot long light socket here that you know it's going to work. We also have this outdoor like mounting piece. Now, I don't know that you'll need this, but if you don't have, you know, an outdoor floodlight already, you know, this is a good way to out mount it. And so that's pretty good. And for about $150, I think this whole thing was, you actually get a lot. Now, I'll be honest, I wish I could have gotten just the light bulb because I don't need some of this other stuff, but I got it. It is what it is. So let's take a look at the light bulb itself. And you can see it's about standard flood light size. I can tell there are some differences right off the bat. We have kind of the standard, I think it's an E26 base. What you can see here is that it rotates just a little bit. And that's because when you uh, install this, you're just gonna screw it in and tighten it down. But then what you can do is you can back it off without unscrewing it a little bit to orient the camera in you know, an upright position, kind of any position you want and see how large this off-white plastic base is. It's actually pretty heavy. I would say those outdoor glass flood lamp light bulbs are pretty heavy too, but this is maybe just a little bit heavier. Oh, I guess that screwdriver is to open this up. So what we have inside here is the RJ45 cord or port, so you can plug this in, and then the reset button. Now I will say there are some visual differences. One, it has like these little flanked edges. I'm not even sure what are under here. I'm not sure that I'm supposed to do anything with them but we have a little like arms that come up for whatever reason. Um, we also have, I will take a look at those and find out more. And then we have, looks like the speaker, microphone holes. Uh, I'm assuming this here is the motion sensor. This is your camera. looks like we got a little plastic on the lens there. Your LED light with a little Hammered reflector, you can see that the lens is kind of recessed in there. This kind of provides a little bit more of a spotlight than a floodlight, obviously, because there's just not as much space for it. And then I'm assuming maybe these are the infrared illuminators. So let me take a look at the instructions and let's get this thing set up. All right, so what these are are antennas. So you can extend these to get a little bit better signal. So hopefully you're in a good Wi-Fi cloud. I'm going to install this into the base here and then let's go into the app and set this little bad boy up. When I install it here, usually it comes right on, yep. You can see that. And now that I've installed it and tightened it in, what you can see here is I can demo how that moves, right? And so that's how you orient the lens so that it's up. All right, now that it's kind of gone off here, I'm gonna go into the app and try to set it up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna voice over this part of the video just because the audio isn't great on the camera. It works pretty well. It's definitely, definitely usable for a security camera. But a couple things I wanted to say, obviously I got it set up. And one of the disappointments here is that you actually have to remove that little panel on the side and plug in that ethernet cable and plug it into your router. That's why I brought it up here to my office so that you actually have to set it up that way. Uh, the old one, I think you could actually connect to its little own Wi-Fi network and then connect it to your home Wi-Fi network. So I would have rather it do that, but it was pretty simple to set it up this way. Now, um, I did go ahead and obviously figure out that you orient it by putting the camera at the bottom and that's gonna keep everything vertically for you. So the little black camera lens will be at the bottom of the, um, the circular floodlight portion so that it's oriented right. And I did go ahead and install this outside and it works great. You know, like I said, probably the biggest problem is You've got to keep the power 
to the light and the camera on all the time. So if it's one of those two floodlight housings, you're either going to want to turn off the other light or replace it with a dead bulb or something like that so that it's not always on. What I also like is that in low light situations, it not only does it have a motion sensor, but it has a setting where I can turn the light on or the light will automatically come on when it detects motion as well. So that's pretty nice. It kind of will illuminate things if you have an intruder, an animal, something like that. There's, it detects something, it'll help illuminate that so you can see what it is in the recording. So installing it is pretty simple. You know, it's a pretty big light. It's only about 150 bucks. So it's a really easy way to install a camera that always has power and is really kind of inconspicuous for the most part. So if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.